Hi everybody, welcome to Bedtime Bible Live. It's just me and Luke today. So just me, it's just the boys here. And Luke's feeling pretty tired. So we'll see how well this goes today or not. Now last time I was reading out of the book of Genesis and we ended up after creation and we ended up, um, God had created the earth and then on the seventh day he rested and we talked about how important it is to get our rest. So when our parents tell us to go to bed, we should go to bed. And today we're going to talk about the Garden of Eden. This is Genesis chapter 2, beginning with verse 8. And we're going to go from there. Okay? So this is Genesis chapter 2. Luke is looking very tired. Look at him. There he goes. So Luke maybe will just kind of listen over there. And I will read to you Genesis chapter 2, beginning with verse number 8. God made the Garden of Eden with everything Adam and Eve needed. A clear stream with a cool water to drink and trees full of delicious fruits. God told Adam and Eve they could eat from any tree except for one in the middle of the garden. One day, a serpent came to tempt Eve. Tempt means to, um, to kind of try to get her to do something bad. Did God tell you not to eat from that tree in the middle of the garden? God knows if you eat from this tree, you will become as clever as he is. Try it and see. Eve looked at the beautiful ripe fruit. She picked a piece and took a bite. Then she shared some with Adam, and he took a bite. When God called to them, they were ashamed and hid from him. They knew they had disobeyed him. They couldn't be God's friends anymore. God made the serpent crawl on his belly for tricking Eve that she would feel pain when she had children. God told Adam he would have to work hard to grow food for his family. One day, they would die. Everything had gone wrong because they would not trust God. Then God sent them away from the garden. After a while, Adam and Eve had children, two sons. Cain was the older brother, and he worked in the fields growing food. Abel was the younger brother who, took, who looked after the flocks of sheep and goats. Cain and Abel wanted to give gifts to God to thank him for the good harvests and newborn animals. Abel chose his best lamb. Cain gave some of his grain. God was pleased with Abel's gift, but he saw that Cain, what Cain was like inside. He knew that Cain didn't really care about God. Cain was angry. He sulked. God warned him to keep his bad temper under control. But instead of trying harder to please God, Cain became more angry and jealous of his brother. He asked Abel to go for a walk in the field. Then Cain attacked Abel and killed him. It's not my fault, Cain said, but God knew that it was. Mm, it's terrible. So these stories are, are teaching us about the earliest things about human nature, about being angry, about being jealous, and mostly about not trusting God. And especially when times get hard, we need to trust God no matter what. And that's always one of our bottom lines um, in Kingdom Kids is trust God no matter what. So today, before you go to bed, I want you to pray with your mom and dad, and I want you to thank God for providing everything that he has provided um, for your family. And I want you to pray with, you know, if your mom and dad's not around, I want you to pray with whoever you're with. And I want you to thank God for everything that he has provided for you. And then um, I want you to pray that you'll trust God no matter what. Even when things you don't understand or things seem like they're not going the way you think they should, I want you to trust God no matter what. That's what I want you to pray about tonight before you close your sleepy eyes and go to bed. Okay, good night, everybody. See you next week. Bye-bye.